Your easy morning starts with this quick overnight oats five minute breakfast prep for two. I'll guide you through crafting the perfect basic overnight oats for your week ahead by demonstrating how I do this in under five minutes for myself and my wife weekly. You'll also learn three irresistible variations of your favorite treats, Reese's, Snickers, and PB and J. These recipes are not just delicious, they're an absolute game changer for your weekly morning meal prep routine. They're gonna save you time and money. To start, we're gonna take out eight containers if you're doing this meal prep for two people. I do this pretty much weekly or every other week for myself and my wife. For us, it's really easy. I do half a portion for her and I double that for myself. It works out really well. Sounds like a simple no-brainer step, but trust me, line up your containers super close to you and close together, which makes this process much easier. For my wife's oats, I just did a half a cup and for mine, I did a full cup. I'm using instant oatmeal. You can use steel cut if you'd like, but it's gonna be a different consistency. I also like to use oat milk, but same thing for this. You can use full fat milk, almond milk, cashew milk, whatever works for you, honestly. You could even use water, technically. I do a two to one ratio for kind of like a porridge vibe consistency, but you can change this up however you like them best. If you've watched my other videos, you know I'm a big advocate of labeling things in the fridge and the freezer. For this meal prep, I'll simply write down which is whose container between myself and my wife the date I made them. You know, it always comes in handy, I promise. You're gonna think you'll remember when you made them, but there's that chance you won't remember. And I'll link these down below in the description along with some of my other kitchen gear. Now, the reason I usually end up doing four meals per week for us with this recipe, I feel like by the fifth day, the overnight oats gets like a little mushy and soggy. So I just do four. And also a lot of times through the week, we'll wanna have eggs or avocado toast or something different, or maybe we're eating out one, one meal. So just keep that in mind too, you know, be realistic about it. If you do five for the week ahead, you're probably gonna throw out a meal or two and that's just money down the drain. Our first variation is gonna be a healthy Reese's. We use the same base as the basic overnight oats, add some protein powder and peanut butter. Reese's are probably one of my favorite treats, to be honest, probably between Reese's and Twix, but Reese's definitely wins it for me. The key is to use a good chocolate protein powder for this and your favorite peanut butter. Same thing as the basic oats, just seal it and set in the fridge. If you're enjoying this video, do me a favor, like this video and subscribe to my Helmets Kitchen YouTube channel. The second variation is going to be healthy Snickers oats. The honey really comes in handy as a nice natural sweetener. Just don't overuse it obviously. Then of course we're going to add in our peanuts for that infamous Snickers crunch, making it the perfect meal for when you or your wife, don't tell her I said that, wake up crabby. This is also a fun breakfast if you have kids because what kid doesn't want a Snickers and what parent doesn't want to trick a kid into eating something healthy? Healthy PB&J oats. I mean, I could eat PB&J sandwiches pretty much every day. These are a lot healthier, so because of that, we're gonna go with this instead of PB&J sandwiches every day, all right? Now you can make this healthier or more dessert style depending on what type of peanut butter and jelly or jam you use. You can buy generic like I did, or you can get some organic, no added sugar, which really means you can make it fit your lifestyle best. We wanna let these overnight oats set in the fridge for at least two hours. I usually just do it overnight as the uh, recipe name dictates, overnight oats obviously, but they really just need like two hours or so to set. It's really just the milk absorbing into the oatmeal and whatever other ingredients and making it you know, a scoopable consistency to your preference. You could technically eat it as soon as you pour the milk into it. It's just gonna be not that tasty really. You know, It's gonna be like ch really truly hard oats obviously. It's not gonna be soaked up and have that mush to it that you like. So it's personal preference really. If you enjoyed this episode, I guarantee you'll also like my pesto chicken pasta recipe. I'll link it above and down in the description below.